abandoned even before it was opened. Workers fled this Chinese gold mining operation in Madagascar after fierce local opposition. The company thinks we have the right to stay, but for the sake of social appeasement, we prefer to withdraw. The mining company had secured a 40-year license, but buckled in the face of relentless protests. Locals said they were worried about the impact on the local farming industry. The country's not for sale. Love can't be bought. Madagascar belongs to the Madagascans. China is Madagascar's largest trading partner and has built roads, hotels and hospitals with 800 Chinese businesses and 60,000 Chinese nationals moving to the island. The Chinese say 90% of jobs created have gone to local people, but many Madagascans are skeptical and there's growing hostility towards the new arrivals. I think that's the problem for Chinese people doing business abroad. They like to join up with the Chinese community. They don't know foreigners. They don't know Madagascans. They don't know how the locals speak, how they communicate together. So they stay within the Chinese community. Keen to maintain good relations, the Madagascan president has praised Beijing's helping hand. But this is a gold rush not everybody believes in.